Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. First of all, apologies if you can hear any background noise, just ignore it. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I do all things hair, skincare, beauty, vibes, out here and today's video is going to be a q and a video i've got my little heart notebook cute so apologies if i look down it's just that i'm double checking the question is correct the first question is what was alex's inspiration behind your proposal venue so he proposed to me in like a rose garden back in texas so i've never actually asked him specifically like what inspired you but i know that he said he definitely wanted to propose to me whilst we were out in Texas. And I think it was more like for me um, and so that my mum could be involved and that we could celebrate with her. He did tell me though, like we went, obviously it was a two week holiday. So we went to loads of touristy type things. And we went up to Dallas. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a viewing platform. And he was like, oh, this is one of the places that I considered proposing to you at. And I'm really glad he didn't like, it's lovely, I'm sure, for other people, but when we went up, it was middle of December, so it was very windy, uh, quite grey. There was lots of people just strolling around. There was no romance or anything there that would make me think, oh yes, this is, this is for us too. Are you going to do a theme for your wedding? I don't have a specific theme. Like my brother's, this was my brother's question for us as well. Like he was like, what's your theme? What's your theme? I was like, we don't have one. He was like, of course you do. You have to have a theme. But I've never really had that kind of thing in mind. I've always been kind of attracted to Mediterranean style weddings, like Italian weddings, French weddings, um, just that kind of look. So that's kind of what we're going for, for, I guess a Mediterranean vibe, or there's definitely a lot of floral activity. And as I've just said, love gardens. So I guess that's a theme, but there's really nothing specific. What's your theme slash colour scheme? So yeah, done with the theme thing. I really feel like the colour scheme really boils down to things like the bridesmaids dresses. That's when you really start to see the colour scheme come through. Our colour schemes, schemes at the moment are champagne, blush, mink, and kind of in that purpley, lilac-y, vibe I think those are the main colors that we're going for and then accents of gold because I love gold or kind of polished brass that kind of look where are you planning to have the wedding Caribbean maybe no we are definitely getting married in bonnie old England so yeah in the middle of summer in England hope that the weather is at least dry I don't really mind if it's like a little bit overcast but dry would be lovely dry and comfortable most of our family and friends are here in England so the idea of shipping them out somewhere else wasn't really for us are you going to have a bridal shower? So it's also known as a hen do here in the UK, but yeah, I think it's interchangeable with bridal shower, especially makes it sound more sophisticated. Um, yes, definitely, definitely. It's a chance to just kind of celebrate with my friends. I also think it's really part of the tradition of it all. And it's also a chance for all of my different friendship groups to meet each other. So then when you go to the wedding, you're like, hey, so-and-so, how are you doing? And you can all have a great time, dance with each other, eat, drink, and be merry. Oh, that also really does help with the seating plan. Honeymoon destination ideas. We have a few different places. Ibiza, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that by the way. Um, so Ibiza, Italy, Hawaii, Jamaica. Those are ones that I can remember, but I think Alex had a few more as well on his side. Um, but I think we are going closer towards the Caribbean, Jamaica. One, because Alex has never been before. It's where my parents are from. So I really want to kind of introduce him to a bit more of that culture. He's obviously seen the British Jamaican culture, if that makes sense. But it'd be nice to kind of throw him out, make him into, you know, pop him into the thick of it, so to speak. Um, and I love Jamaica. It's gorgeous. If you haven't ever been, save up, go. I 10 out of 10 recommend it. Everything, the vibe, the people, the weather, the food, the music, everything. In terms of it being a honeymoon, you definitely want your honeymoon to just be full relaxation. You don't want to be lifting a finger, do you, after you've spent all this time planning your wedding. So that's why we'll probably go to a resort so it can be all inclusive. So yeah, I've seen some really nice resorts out there. Crystal blue waters, white sands. 
uh, a tan, you know. Um, so that's, I think, the one that we're leaning towards. We also talked about having like a kind of mini moon sort of thing in a European country like Italy, so a real city break. If you have any honeymoon recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm all ears. Do you have a budget? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do. When we started this, the budget was was smallish, was, was medium, I should actually say. Then it crept up, it went high. And I'm not gonna tell you what my budget is now, purely because I am going to do a full expose on how much our wedding exactly costs. But one thing that I will say already off the bat, my first advice, never take the first price. Never take the first price. These suppliers out here, Listen, I understand because they are their own business. They're self-employed, they have their different markups, whatever. But whatever you have pinned to your Pinterest board, please believe there's more than one price for it. We were looking at somewhere for flowers and for what I asked for, okay? Centerpieces and a few other bits and pieces, not to give too much away. She wanted to charge me 10 grand. £10,000 for one day for flowers. It couldn't be me. I was. I said thank you and goodbye. <laughs> Absolutely not. Went same, same things, same Pinterest images, right? Um, just a little bit farther afield and uh, it's costing us like a fraction, a fraction of the price. I've even seen a few things I can cross out which will even bring the price down further. So please, whenever you have an idea, go to more than one supplier, have a chat about the things, and also talk about where they're sourcing their stuff from. So yes, we have a budget and we are going to stick to it. <laughs> I will try my hardest. How are you planning food? Food! We're really lucky with our venue is a package type of deal, so the wedding food was already included, so I didn't really have to think too hard about it because we had considered going self-catering and I just found that for the two of us, for our current lifestyles, it would have been way too difficult to try and liaise with suppliers, especially when it came to food, because you'll find that with suppliers and food, it's, it's often the linens and crockery and waiting that you also have to pay for. But it's so, so important to me to have a reflection of my culture on my day. And a big way to do that, or an easier way to do that, is through the food. I think what we've decided on is to have evening buffet style Caribbean food. So we'll kind of have this more traditional style uh, wedding breakfast that's more common in English weddings. And then we'll have a nice Caribbean spread for the evening and also for the kind of canapes. I think I want to interwine some Caribbean style things for the canapes so that we have a nice blend of our cultures on the day. Are your family very opinionated? Listen to me carefully, okay? I am very stubborn. Hi, my mum is watching this, hello. So someone might tell me something about my wedding, give me an opinion, will I listen? When it comes to family and being opinionated, we've had a few opinions, nothing too strong, nothing that's like offended me. Um, my mum, my mum's been like, oh yes, I spoke to so-and-so about coming to your wedding. And I'm like, did I say they were invited? I wasn't inviting them, so you probably shouldn't have done that. But I know that with our families, it's coming from a really good place. It's, you know, we've been married before. I think, mm, okay, you know, I'll take it into consideration. Um, I'll consider it. Um, then that's what I'll do. And I'll research it and I'll think, yeah, you're right on that or I'll say actually no I'm sticking with my first idea I like this because at the end of the day it's gonna be your money it's gonna be your wedding it's gonna be your memories so try not to let anybody put too much pressure onto you to make decisions and choices that you don't want to make and I know I know it can be extremely difficult especially if you have somebody paying for the wedding because when somebody is getting their own money involved of course they are going to and in my opinion rightfully have a say towards it but see if you can come towards some kind of compromise 
Are you having something over the top or simple? So I wanted to elope. <laughs> I wanted to elope um, just because I can't deal with like the politics of it all and the costs. I watched loads of wedding videos and I was like, oh, I just want a wedding like that. I want a big party. I want everyone there, la la la. And I think the problem with me is I'm a perfectionist and a control freak. So if even the slightest thing goes wrong, which it will, or like people just aren't doing what I expect them to do, which they won't because we all have autonomy. Um, I, I'm i gonna be like, this is going wrong, this is a disaster. So that's kind of, I think as well, what put me off having a big hoo-ha. But uh, we both have quite big families, quite big families, just like, who do you not invite? The choice was either elope or have a massive wedding. There was no have a small wedding. No, 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 because someone was going to feel disrespected. So yeah, originally I wanted to elope, then we were like, yeah, let's have a big wedding. And then as I started to get into the planning, I was like, oh, this is overwhelming. I want to elope again, but we are, we're gonna have a wedding, a big-ish wedding. Oh, the big one. What are you doing with your hair slash hairstyle options do you have in mind for the big day? Um. The answer is, actually no, no, let me not even lie. I've got a Pinterest board, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below of all of the hairstyles I'm currently considering. So I want to wear my hair natural. One, if I style my hair and wear it out, from 9 a.m. it's not gonna look the same at 9 p.m. Okay, it's gonna shrink. Again, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. It might rain, it's raining right now. Um, so it might shrink and fluff up and come out of the style. The photos aren't therefore going to be really consistent, which perfectionist is not the best or not ideal for me. I also feel like a lot of the time, Afro styles can lend itself to a bohemian look. Please don't be offended when I say that, but it can do. And I'm not going for a boho look at all. Those reasons have kind of strayed me away from wearing an afro. So I really wanted to go with this idea of having some type of natural hair updo and I wanted to achieve that at the most by doing a roller set or a blowout look. I really didn't want to have to straighten my hair because I really don't like to continue with this idea that um, straight hair for special occasions and thus straight hair looks prettier or better or what have you. But a lot of the hairstyles I'm really drawn to, like Gabrielle Union's hair, gorgeous. You can tell that it was tonged of some kind. So there's gonna be so many wedding hairstyle trials for me until I find what I'm super super confident and happy with but I do like the idea of something really romantic tousled carefree but in an updo style and I also really want it to be able to change um, for the evening so I can have that literal let your hair down moment when we party the night away so guys that was my Q&A to kick off my wedding series I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any further questions let's continue the conversation if you've made it this far you may as well subscribe press the notification bell so you never miss a video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye, bye.